Aries. How are we doing at this beautiful, marvelous time? I hope all is well. Let's see what's taking place at this time with my beautiful Arians. What's going on with Aries at this time? Of course, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, all of my information is below. Okay, so let's see what's going on during this Mercury and retrograde. Okay, and even after as well. Yeah, let's just see what's going on. All right, if you view this before, then great. Okay, so let's see what's going on. And of course, like and subscribe. Um, I appreciate those that even come in and like. I do see that, by the way. <laughs> Thank you for those that do that. I appreciate it. All right, so Aries going on with my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know? Wow. I'm trying to move on, right? I'm moving on. I'm doing good. Um, I'm moving on. So there's like this blockage. It's like one of those things where it's like I'm deciding to get in my car i'm deciding to take off from a situation and as i take off and move away from the situation there's like a roadblock right something that happens that sort of stops somebody and this could be you this could be your person for me i feel like this is aries here it's you know i'm deciding to turn my back from something that wasn't really expressing much that wasn't really doing anything although i know this person cares about me right i know this person cares about me i know this there's a lot of love here and for some of you at this time it's like i'm constantly reflecting there's a lot of thinking going on um i know there's a lot of thinking going on and i'm wanting to move away from these situations i'm feeling victorious i'm i'm ready to go i made a decision right i'm turning my back on certain things that I feel that doesn't really serve me any longer. And there's this energy of, as I'm moving forward here, now I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about the heartbreak. I'm thinking about the sadness. And I'm thinking about if this is something that is fixable. And not fixable with this, you know, this person, so to speak, but fixable within myself. I was ready to move on and move on to something else where something could have happened here, right? Someone could have lost someone and, you know, whether this was some sort of death or someone walked away, whatever it is, right? Someone just feels like they're detaching from someone. And I feel like as you decided to move on from this energy, there's a sadness that comes in here for someone. And as the sadness comes in, it brings in this energy of... I need to heal something. I need to heal something. I need to reflect on something. I need to acknowledge something. So I feel like someone here is in this energy of what is it that I'm constantly thinking about? So Aries, if you're finding yourself constantly thinking about something as you decided to already move on from it, then there's, there's work that needs to be done, right? There's work. And it's like, what kind of work? Well, I need to work on this sadness, right? Whatever this is, whatever happened... Right? I need to go deeper and I need to feel um, some sort of relief from this. I need to get some sort of lesson. Because I feel like for some, it's like the outside world may view you as obviously overcoming something. But there's more to it. right? Whether it was betrayal or I felt like I wasn't loved. Or I feel like I'm fighting somebody else's battle. And in the midst, ignoring myself. But either way here, I do see there needs to be some work that needs to be put in here. And if this is not you, Aries, this is someone here that decided to move on from you, the situation of love, because I feel like at some point there was a lot of love between you and someone else, a lot of it, right? And whether they were showing it or not, ready or not, there was love. However, someone here decided to move forward, whether they decided to move away from you or move on to something else, it seems as if someone here is still stuck in a situation, still stuck in their mind, still stuck in a sadness. As if, okay, well, I tried to run from you, Aries. Now I'm in another situation and now I'm caught up again. Okay? So, overall energy here. Overall energy for my Aries. Overall energy, please. I'm just taking it slow. 
overall energy for my Aries. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, right? I'm I'm communicating and I'm opening up and I'm loving myself. Male or female, I'm deciding to love myself. I'm deciding to um, move into this place of understanding who I am, understanding my true nature, understanding what it is that I need to work on. Overall energy, focusing on me, focusing on what I need to do for me, not for everybody else, not for John, Sue, Sarah, Sally, John, David, for me, right? I need to focus on me and I need to find my stability spiritually. There's something going on with me, whether I'm not comfortable where I am financially or I'm not comfortable where I am spiritually or I just can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I'm working on myself. So overall energy, I'm working on myself. I'm loving myself, right? I'm a mother. I'm a parent. Um, but more so, other than that, I'm focusing on me in order to be a better person. So for some of you that may feel like, okay, I walked away from something in the past and now I'm finding some sort of difficult, you know, difficulty or some sort of um, stagnant energy, do not forget yourself. Don't forget yourself. Don't forget why you ended up in that past situation. What is it that I need to adjust? Did I put myself last? Right? Did I put myself third in situations? Right? Is it time for me to truly jump into something new? Okay, so I feel like some of you are just really focusing on yourself and it's a beautiful energy, right? Being alone with yourself actually brings a lot of, for me, it brings a lot of clarity. It brings a lot of light. It brings a lot of balance into your life, right? Getting to know who you are without, without all of the outside distractions. It's just getting to know who you are and who you want to be and who you want to become right? And not following anybody else's journey. Okay. So let's see what's going on between you and this person. Oh, communication coming in. I would love to speak to you, Aries. I would love to speak to you. I would love to speak to you. I don't know how to come towards you or I'm speaking with you and I don't know how to tell you that I miss you. Okay, there's an energy of someone here greatly wanting to connect with someone deeply. I would love to speak with someone that I love truly, that I want to connect with, that I have a lot of passion towards. Someone here is missing someone dearly. Okay, and I feel like as this goes on, there's healing in it. Okay, because now I feel like someone here is in a way fighting their ego. Should I reach out? Should I say something? And for, from, for some of you guys, Aries in particular, it's more so like I don't want to look like I'm chasing this person because I was the one that was always putting myself out there. Okay, so there's a communication that comes in at some point here about love, about moving forward here. Okay, especially in the next few days for a lot of you. Next few weeks as well. Okay, as we have the wands here. A lot of communication that comes in for you, my beautiful Aries, all right? So definitely watch what you say. Listen more than you talk, Aries, like I always say to some, not all. But let's see what the energies are like between you and this person that you're connecting with, all right? How is this person feeling towards my Aries, actually? How is this person feeling towards my Aries? pride right very prideful individual like i don't want to talk to you i don't want to say anything but yet my heart is still focused on you okay so there is someone here that i feel like they have their eye on you they feel you they feel your energy but there's a lot of pride a lot of pride leo energy it doesn't have to be but leo energy <laughs> leo energy though so someone here has a lot of pride I don't want to make myself look vulnerable, okay? Take it how it resonates. But someone here wants to talk to you, Aries. But I feel like they're just holding back because they may be in a situation, financially, spiritually, and they're unsure of how to come towards you. Why? Because of the way that I walked out or the way that I possibly treated this connection, whatever it may be. There's a lot of pride here, okay? With that being said, 
I'm not going to say how I feel. And I feel like for some of my Aries, you know, you're just at a point where you're like, okay, well, if you can't express yourself, then we can't communicate right we can't communicate because pride isn't part of love unfortunately right so i do see someone here being very patient with someone here understanding that someone here needs to grow right but in the midst of them growing i'm going to focus on myself i'm not going to wait for anybody it's impossible to wait for somebody to grow that's something that could literally take a lifetime or it could never happen right so I feel like you guys are just investing your, your time into different places. And I'm not saying that you're going to stop loving this person. I'll forever love you. I'll forever care about you. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to lose myself in your journey. Okay? It's impossible, Aries. For those that are just like, I'm trapped. I'm so mentally, spiritually trapped in this person's life. Come on. Okay? So I do see some of you guys acknowledging that this person has a stubborn energy very very stubborn and this could be you okay so take it how it resonates i love my aries but if this is you <laughs> all right let's see roaming wild and we have pretend and confusion pretending and letting go i'm pretending to let you go I'm pretending to let you go i'm focusing on myself i'm focusing on my family on my security I'm walking away from something or I'm pretending that I'm walking away from something just so I could communicate with you. So some of my Aries, I will tell you, there is someone that may be pretending that they're releasing something, whether it's an addiction, whatever it may be, they're pretending. Okay, they're pretending that they may be letting go of you, letting go of someone else, or just letting go, right? Just take it how it resonates, you understand. If this person calls you and say, oh yeah, I'm done with this person in the past or, mm, you know call me for a private reading okay okay because this person may be lying and we don't want to get fooled although we're the fool in the deck we do not want to get fooled here okay but again there is someone here pretending okay i'm going to clarify what this is for a lot of you okay show me what this pretending energy is about for my aries what are we pretending about at this time aries please pretending that something is over pretending that i no longer love you yeah someone big time pretending death energy here right where something's over i've ended it with you i'm no longer interested in you and this is all pride we may have gotten into an argument and i said some things that i didn't mean but that's what the image looks like at this time okay so let's get some clarifications here Okay, in terms of what's currently going on, let's get some clarifications. Let's see what's going on with my Aries. All right, spirit guides, what is going on with my beautiful Aries? What do they need to know? Please clarify this beautiful Empress energy. Could be a woman here, some sort of mother figure. Okay, if you're connecting with a mother to some extent, for some of you guys, this person needs to grow up. This person possibly, and not in a negative way, okay? It doesn't have to be negative, but this person just needs to focus on themselves, okay? On their responsibilities. That's for some of you guys. Okay. What do we have for this Empress? This beautiful Empress for my Aries at this time. Trusting. Someone here needs to learn how to trust themselves in order to trust a lover, like, I have to trust myself in order to learn how to trust this new person coming into my life. There's someone new here, old, but this person's coming in with this energy, wanting to love you. And Aries, I will say, if you are connecting with someone new or old, whatever it may be, please use your Empress energy in order to feel this person, okay? Because I do feel like someone here is coming towards you, wanting to love you. All right, wanting to get to know you, be patient. All right, be patient with the process. Be patient with this King of Swords, King of Cups. A lot of love here. And it, it starts once you, you walked away from something. The minute you walked away from something, there's someone here that either comes back 
or a new person comes in. You just take it how it fits in your story. Okay, but someone here is coming towards you, but trust is one of the biggest obstacles here. Do I trust myself? Do I trust my intuition enough that I'm going to sit as an empress or am I going to sit as a, I don't know, something less than an empress, basically. But I see you guys in this energy wanting or should be sitting in this energy of trusting yourself enough to know what this person is bringing towards you, right? If this person's telling you that they're just walking away from a relationship, for some of you guys, my intuition, this is for some, I, I don't know if I would, I don't know if I would invest in that, okay? Because I do see someone already pretending, all right? I see someone pretending to be over with something and it just doesn't look clear to me okay so use your intuition with that use your intuition with that scenario okay because i don't see someone here completely releasing something that has ended for them all right you may be connecting with someone that possibly is still healing from something in their past and they're not completely over it okay that's for some of you okay what do we have for this pretending energy yeah still healing still healing here be very patient with someone taurus energy aquarius be very patient so i do see even even you aries i do see someone here still healing this could be you healing from a marriage something that you invested a lot of time in yeah i invested a lot of time into this situation and i want to ensure that i am ready for something new Okay, because I feel like a lot of you, it's like I'm transitioning away from something in order to find myself. Okay, so just take your time, Aries. All right, what do we have for this hair font? Three of Pentacles. Someone here wants to communicate with you so bad, Aries. I feel like this person feels so lonely without your energy. Okay? I feel like this person feels so lonely without your energy. If this is someone here that disconnected with you and without any word, I feel like this person's wanting to speak with you. This person could also be burying themselves into work trying to bury themselves into work but this person's very very lonely it's a very lonely energy what does my aries have moving forward into the future <laughs> what's going on with my aries moving forward into the future yeah someone new definitely comes in here someone comes in but i feel like this person is a very good friend at first for a lot of you this person's a good friend this person's open to listening to you what else do we have here and i feel like this person does not bring in the drama that you used to have there's something about a miscommunication there's you know the person that you connected with in the past i feel like this person didn't have the best energy of communication but i feel like you're releasing yourself from that and you're connecting with those that are ready to communicate okay what else do we have for my aries moving forward what else do we have for my Aries moving forward, please? Two cards. What else do we have for my beautiful Aries? Wow, a relationship comes in for you guys. Healing. Yeah, decision. Bottom of the deck, the magician. So a lot of you may be manifesting something new in, but at the same time, I'm still waiting for someone in the past. Interesting. Okay. Clarify this five of pentacles for me, for my beautiful Aries. What do we have for that? Yeah, setting some boundaries. I'm setting boundaries. I'm taking a leap. There's, there's someone that tries to come in towards you, and I feel like you definitely set your boundaries, but in a very loving way. In a very loving way. For some of my Aries, I will say you're still having hope that someone will change, right? Although I started something new, I still think about this past person here. Okay. Yes, I'm still passionately connected with them. I still love them here. 
I still think about them. All right, there's someone here that you're still thinking about, Aries. Yeah, I still think about you. I'm making a decision to move on with my life, but I still think about you. And I'm healing from this situation. Okay, how does this person feel about my Aries currently? How does this person feel about my Aries, please? Thank you. How does this person feel about my Aries? Wow, they feel left out. Bottom of the deck, I feel confused. This person doesn't know how to communicate with you properly. Okay? I feel like this person could have been left in a situation, and I feel like this person's taking their time in terms of reaching out to you or connecting with you. I don't know how to do it. Okay? There's a lot going on in the Aries life, right? <laughs> I take it how it resonates, okay? Okay. One more card for my Aries and their future, their beautiful future, their amazing future. The sun. Let's go. The sun. A relationship, right? Discipline. Balance. I'm working on growth. I'm working on growth. The sun, three of pentacles, I'm working on myself. I'm working on balance. I'm working on clarity. Okay? So whether you start something with this new person or old person, whoever this energy is that wants to come in and offer you something new here, right? And I feel like this person has been taking a long time. This person's been moving very slow in the past. Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, you know who this is. But I feel like there is a Leo. doesn't have to be. But there is somebody here wanting to bring in some sort of clarity for you here. And I feel like this is when you actually start working on yourself. There's some sort of clarity that comes in for you about a situation, about a relationship here. Knight of Swords. The minute they find out that you're in a relationship, someone comes running in with a lot of love. But I feel like it may be too late. It just may be too late for this person, to be honest. All right, let's get some messages. Let's get some messages for my empress at this time. All right. Aries, please. What are the messages for my Aries? Thank you. Unfinished business. Yeah. It's literally like the whole reading. We still have things to resolve and discuss. You know who you are. I'm not done, right? Someone here is not finished with you. I am, or you are, a better person than I am. Okay? So this person's working on themselves. And they're saying, I'm not done with you, Aries. Okay? Whether you leave or not, the point of this whole story, this whole scenario, is just working on yourself. It's the whole point of the story here. Working on yourself, balancing out your energy. But someone here comes back in strong, wanting some sort of growth with you, wanting to communicate with you. Okay, Aries. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing one. If this resonates with you, of course, like, like you always do, guys. I love you guys. I really do. I really love my Aries very, very much. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing one. Okay.